There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. Don't be wasting bullets on the locals! All that meat will fetch is a jail sentence! Hey, we're here for the elk, not the tourists. You don't hunt elk in a vehicle. Could you be any less stealthy? What are you doing? You'll spook the elk. You got legs, ain't you? Use them. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Uh, where's your rifle? Uh, keep that firearm primed at all times. Let's see that rifle, Trevor. Gotta be ready. What are you using that gun for? Whoa, whoa. Where'd that gun come from? That ain't the gun for hunting elk, Trevor. Use a sniper rifle, for Christ's sakes. Why aren't you using a sniper rifle? You're making it real hard for yourself with that gun. Uh, get that scope on them. Gotta aim before you can shoot. Get them in your sights. Ain't you gonna use a scope? They make those with a scope for a reason. You see what you got in the sights there, Trevor. You see if you got anything through the scope. Line up them sights again. If you go at him like that, he'll see you, hear you, or both. Stay low, partner. Don't want him to get eyes on you. You'll spook him if you make too much noise. Low and slow. It's the only way. Slow it down there, the elk will hear you. Don't be running around and making all that ruckus. Stop that hellin' around. Elk got good ears on them. Go slow and watch that wind direction or you'll spook him. Easy there, Trevor. Take it slow and don't let him get your scent. If you get much closer from this direction, he's gonna pick up your scent. You need to get downwind of him, Trevor. Any closer, he's gonna smell you for sure. Always remember, wind from the rear, you'll never get near. Ooh, I certainly won't forget when I'm downwind of you. Put him down. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are... Ah! Keep us downwind so we don't spook them. 
Keep calm. You got this. I love all of God's creatures. Right next to the taters and the gravy. Now be sure about your line. Better than sex, ain't it? Steady wins the race. Don't overthink it. Just remember what I told you. Elk will die of old age if we wait much longer. You're gonna have to pull the trigger at some point. Sometime today it'd be nice. You freezing up on me, Trevor? It's time to poop or get off the pot. Don't turn tree hugger on me. Shoot! Take a deep breath and get it done. While we're still young, Trevor. Come on, the suspense is killing me. That's about the right distance. I'd park yourself there if I was you. There's good. Should have a nice line. That's a good distance there. Don't say there's good. I wouldn't get much closer than that. I wouldn't get in much closer if I was you. Don't get in too close. Keep your distance. You're getting in very close there. Uh, pull it back a bit, Trevor. That's close enough, I reckon. Come on! Move up. Okay, uh, push up. Uh, you can move up a bit. Keep pushing forward. Nice and slow. Let's move further in. You spooked him. We got a runner. He's bolting. Go on. Put him down. In the head. Trevor, you're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. Deck shot. Can't get too much cleaner than that. In the heart. Clean as you get. Very nice. You got him. Burned up half the meat, but I'll take it. Damn it, he's down. Got lucky with that leg shot, partner. <laughs> You shot him in the ass. Where are you going? There's still elk in there. Hey, I thought you was having fun. Oh, what, you don't like hunting now? You got something better to do all of a sudden. Where are you going? Over here. Shake a leg. This way, Trevor. Get up here, quick. Don't be lagging back there. Uh, don't stray too far. Get a move on, will you? Stop wandering about like a fart in a pair of pants. Get a move on. Get back here. Stay close. Come on, let's get going, Trevor. Trevor, over here. Get over here. Come to me, Trevor. Uh, this way. Stick with me. This ain't the time to be dilly-dallying. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. You might want to blow that whistle again. Give another honk on that diaphragm. Uh, try that elk caller one more time. Give the whistle another blow. Give him another call. Uh, try that whistle again. Just honk on that thing again if you lose your line. Why don't you give that whistle a blow? So, you gonna blow the whistle then? Give a parp on that whistle. You got an aversion to using that whistle? Give that whistle a blow. Uh, see if we can get a better line. You don't need to be shy with that whistle. If that elk whistle worked as well on the ladies, I sure wouldn't leave the trailer much. You got him. Pull the trigger. Wow, you blew his damn head off. In the neck, not too bad at all. Heart shot like a true professional. Damn, body shots ain't the cleanest, but a kill's a kill. In the leg, how'd he even stay down? In the brown eye? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. Not the flatheads. You leave that dough alone now, Trevor. No females, Trevor. Don't do it. 
the slick head. I said no females. You killed the mother. What did I tell you? Wasn't sure if you'd show. Picked the right day for it. Gotta make the most of the light. Ain't this just the best time a feller can have? My girl said if I go hunting one more day, she's gonna leave me. Damn, I'll miss that girl. You ever thought about mounting an elk in your trailer, Trevor? Whoa! That's a very personal question. Fill the freezer, then the wall. That's my motto. Whack em and stack em. That'll be some good eating. Timber! He just bought a parking ticket. Beautiful! Brains everywhere! You're a cold man, Trevor Phillips! Next shot! No complaints from me there! Heart shot? You're getting good at this now, feller! Barbecued half the steaks already with that one! He's down! Damn! Thought you just lamed him for a second! You blasted him in the starfish, you crazy bastard! Okay, this is good! Same as before, nice and steady! You got this now, Trevor! Uh, you're on your own for the next one! Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. I've shown you all I can show you. Gotta try it by yourself now. I can't hold your hand forever. Those elks ain't gonna kill themselves. They can't tie the noose. Uh, why are you tracking me when there's a forest full of elk back there? Is this a point where you say you love me? Get back to the hunting! I can't talk business till I know you can handle this on your own. Go on, Trevor. I want to see if you can bag one on your own. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth. And come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.
Got the photo. Another nice kill. 